Hello everyone and welcome to our lecture about Bitcoin. Bitcoin is a digital form of cash, but unlike the normal currencies you're used to, there is no central bank controlling it. Instead, the financial system in Bitcoin is run by thousands of computers distributed around the world called nodes. Anyone can participate in the ecosystem by downloading an open source software on their laptop or phone. Bitcoin was the first cryptocurrency announced in 2008 and launched in 2009. It provides users with the ability to send and receive digital money, Bitcoins, or BTC. What makes it so attractive is that it can be censored, funds can be spent more than once, and transactions can be made at any time from anywhere without zero cost. How is Bitcoin created? Bitcoin is created through a process called mining. Mining is the process through which Bitcoin transactions are verified and added to the blockchain. The goal of the miners is to find a valid solution to a complex math problem. Miners that manage to solve these puzzles are rewarded with Bitcoins and transaction fees. In the early days, Bitcoin users were able to join the mining race with their personal computers. However, nowadays, profitable mining requires the use of very highly specialized mining bricks. Since solo mining is very difficult, many miners opt to join a mining pool to increase their chances of getting a block reward, which is then shared proportionally between the pool members. I've prepared little diagrams for you so you can visually see how Bitcoin works. First, it downloads software onto your computer or phone. The software generates a unique address, which you look at it as your personal email. You send this address to somebody who you want to send you money. They use this address to send the funds. The transaction is added to a block, which is distributed to every node. And when it's authenticated, it's added to the blockchain and you receive your Bitcoins. It's as simple as that. How mining works is, let's say Alice wants to buy a product from Bob using Bitcoin. She uses her private key and signs a message with the amount of bitcoins and Bob's address requesting a transaction. The transaction requested by Alice is bundled into a block with other transactions. The block is broadcasted to all the mining nodes in the bitcoin network. The network of nodes validates Alice's transaction using algorithm in a process called mining, like I already said. The first miner to validate a new block for the blockchain receives a portion of the bitcoin as a reward. The transaction is complete and the new block is added to the blockchain. The block is permanent and cannot be modified. After that, Bob receives his bitcoins from Alice. Our next lecture is about Ethereum and smart contracts, so I'll see you there.